I'm sure there's people in your life that you look at or people that you know of you look at, you're like, man, they're just so successful. It just seems to come naturally for them. Well, anything that comes naturally for anybody, whether it's success or failure, it's simply a result of familiar thoughts that create familiar experiences that reinforce, like I said, familiar neural patterns. And so surround yourself, seek out conversations, seek out autobiographies, seek out interviews, seek out experiences that help you disrupt what you have normalized. Because we've all normalized things. That's just what the human mind does. It likes to normalize things. It likes to categorize them in nice predictable boxes. And so a lot of us, we've normalized our, our current level of success, not because that's truly what we're capable of in a maximum way, but because the human mind is a normalizing machine. And so for you, seek out people, conversations, experiences that disrupt normal, right? Go seek out people who have achieved massive success and just speak with them, talk to them. If you can't get a hold of them, right? Seek interviews with them, read their books, but just start to start to seek out people experiences and stuff that raise your conception of what is normal and what can happen. And that will disrupt your, there's this thing in your brain called the default mode network, which is where a lot of our limits live. And it will disrupt those neural networks so that you can actually unlock new levels of potential and achieve higher, higher levels of financial success, personal success, all of that. So, the board magically changed, that's pretty cool. So the fourth thing, to help you cultivate a seven figure mindset so you can make more money, right? Clean up your money mindset. And what does that mean? It means, what is your relationship with money? A lot of us, we have a lot of subconscious blocks. We have a lot of subconscious ickiness when it comes to money, just based on how our parents grew up or how we grew up, right? We didn't ask for any of it, but it's, it's sometimes it's just the cards we got dealt growing up. But that stuff makes a tangible impact, impact on how much money you allow yourself to re retain, earn, how much revenue you allow yourself to experience. Your relationship with money directly impacts your experience of it. And so a lot of us, we've never even taken time to stop and go, what, what is my relationship with money? Where, where did I learn my beliefs about money? Right? Did I have parents that were stingy? Did I, have Did I grow up around scarcity? Did I grow up around this belief that there was never enough? Right? That money does not grow on trees, right? It's important to understand what is your current money mindset? Because again, your internal relationship with money will directly impact your ability to obtain it and use it and, and, and do it in a stress-free way. I used, to have a, I used to have a belief that money was super stressful. So if I wanted more money, I needed more stress. And guess what? The more money I made, the more stressful my life became. Once I was able to eradicate that belief and clean up my money mindset, I just said, hey, money's just a result of creating value. As long as I create value, I'll continue to make money and that's a good thing. And guess what? I was allowed to make more money, I allowed myself to make more money but my stress levels didn't have to go up as a result. And that's nice. We've had hundreds of dudes come into our group, hundreds of ambitious men. And guess what? A lot of them, they have an unknown underlying money mindset that needs a couple tweaks. And then once they make those tweaks, they 10X their income. Literally, we have a client, Gilberto Rosas, who one hypnosis session about his money mindset. And he went from making 4K a month. And in three to four months, he was making 45K a month while traveling the world, right? Like. Your mindset about something matters. Your attitude about something matters because it influences your expectations and your observations. And all that has a tangible impact on the results you create. So take some time. What is your money mindset? What are your beliefs about it, right? And um, you know, spend some time journaling with this because it can go pretty deep, right? It can really go deep into family and memories and stuff like that, right? And that last, that, that's the word comfort with a big line drawn through it, meaning in order to cultivate a seven-figure mindset so you can achieve seven-figure level success, just redefine your relationship with comfort. Meaning, I'm not saying you have to turn your life into this, you know, this super uncomfortable suffering festival. That's not what I'm saying. I know there's a lot of like meat heady personal development out there that says that. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying challenge your mind and body's preference for comfortable. Because what is comfortable does not always serve you. What is comfortable means it's just been normalized and like we talked about earlier in this video, just because it's been normalized doesn't mean it's in your greatest good. Doesn't mean it's aligned with your greatest potential, right? 
And so for you, becoming a seven figure earner, you may experience a lot of resistance and discomfort as you transform. Now, if you let the presence of discomfort stop you, you'll never actually get there. That's just basic, right? Cause and effect. And so doing things every day that redefine your relationship with discomfort, cold showers, right? Workouts, um, you know, committing to your work blocks, right? Like doing these small things, these small exposures to discomfort, doing them on a daily basis, it just rewires your mind's association with comfort and discomfort. It stops becoming such a big deal. And when that happens, you no longer experience as much resistance, which means you can take more action more efficiently, more consistently and get more done, right? So when you can, on a daily basis, seek out small ways to redefine your relationship with discomfort, your mind changes, right? So that you can achieve that seven figure mindset, that growth mindset, that growth mindset that says anything can be possible, right? Nothing is set in stone. That's essentially what a growth mindset is. And that's what a seven figure mindset is as well, right? A seven figure mindset looks around and says, just because this is the way my life looks right now does not mean that this is how my life is going to look tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. Because remember, cause and effect, you are the cause. Claim it now. Claim it now. Clean up your money mindset and just change your change your relationship with, with comfort. And when you can do those things, you will cultivate a seven-figure mindset and you will see these things start to actualize in your life, right? Surround yourself with people that redefine what is normal for you and do all of these things, these five steps. We've seen this work hundreds and hundreds of times and this will radically alter your mindset so that you can start really earning at a seven figure level and leading at a seven figure level. So it starts with how you view yourself and the actions you take as a result of that. So guys, if you have any questions about this stuff, comment below, like, and subscribe to this channel. Every week we're putting out brand new trainings with one intention that's to help you predictably scale your business, scale your income, make more money, help more people, achieve balance in your life in the areas of mind, body, spirit, and business. And last but not least, if you want to learn more about what we do at Wake Up Wealthy, how we've created a system that predictably helps men like you scale to the six and seven figure level while mastering their habits, their mindsets, their emotional health, their mental health, all that stuff, click one of the links below and you can learn more about us, book a call with our team and get moving in that direction. Jump into our system if that's what you're looking for right now, man. So enjoy your day. Use this lesson. I'll see you next time.